In what way is it expensive to be poor? I saw a lady coming out of a laundromat, loading her baskets of clothes into a taxi, there is zero other public transport where I saw this happen, and only a few taxis. Not being able to put enough money together at one time to buy a car or a washing machine, she probably rented so this maybe wasn't even an option, was costing her a fortune. Just being nickeled and dimed to death. When bank fees are waived if you keep more than $X amount in your account, but they start charging for the account when the amount drops under the minimum. There are late fees for everything. Overdraft fees at the bank. Shitty jobs usually don't have good healthcare plans. If you're poor, you need credit cards just to survive, but interest rates are higher for those with low credit scores, see late fees above. Shitty cars are always breaking down, and that's expensive. And if you can't maintain a minimum balance, or don't have a bank in your neighborhood, or were raised to be suspicious of banks and don't have a bank account, you've got to pay fees to cash your paychecks. Then there are fees to buy money orders to pay your bills, or the cost of getting to the utility office, or car dealership, or wherever to pay in cash. Renting to own anything is really bad. You pay 4x the value of whatever it is you're renting to own. And if you miss a payment they repossess it and someone else might start at the beginning of attempting to pay for it again. Not only that you very well might be paying 4x the new value for a used item. And only low quality items are sold rent to own. Ashley Furniture, shitty used cars, the cheapest big screen TVs available at wholesale. Houses might be better, but Rent-A-Center and JD Byrider are worse than loan sharks. You can sell them buy in bulk so you end up paying more for thing. For example, our local butchery sells ground beef cheap if you buy 2 kilograms or more at a time. If you're paid weekly and can afford only 500g per week, you end up paying more. Buying in bulk is a huge money saver. And it's so damn expensive. You don't just need the money in advance to buy the groceries. You also need a freezer or cooler large enough to store it. And of course a vehicle to get it home. So many things to prepay before you can start saving. The justice system. If you can't pay a fine, the state will make things more expensive by adding fees on top of fees on top of fees, then they will incarcerate you for not paying the inflated fees. Then you have to pay the parole officer who is keeping an eye on you while you care unable to get a job that pays enough to pay him. If you're poor you already have no or very little money to invest in yourself, so you have to take on debt to do so. If you want to get technical certifications or degrees. Sometimes there's financial assistance, but a lot of the time taking on loans is necessary. Food deserts, where everything at the single grocery store for miles around is marked way the hell up, because its shoppers usually pay in food stamps and or have nowhere else to go. Laundry. Imagine needing an entire morning afternoon to load and lug your shit to a hot building and feeding machines quarter after quarter after quarter while being tethered to the spot so your stuff won't get stolen. I was so desperate to save money at one point and just washed my clothes in the tub just to avoid spending lots of money at the laundromat, water was included in the rent, so why not? I would just hang my clothes on the balcony to dry. Bonus points if it was during the summer because I lived in the desert at the time. The quality of stuff you're able to buy. For example someone struggling for cash will make pair of shoes for £5 that last for a short period of time and need to be replaced every two months. And someone who is more well off can afford to buy a pair of shoes for £40 which last about two years. Therefore at the end of the two-year period the poorer person has spent around £120. Biggest one that I always think of for all my fellow Americans is medical care. If you're poor you put off medical care as long as possible, and it's extremely expensive by the time it's serious enough to address. Tires. Used tires cost one-third price and get about 20% of the life of a new tire. Also you are paying mountain balance every time, plus worry about blowouts. Even a new tire at $80 with a 30k mileage expectancy, or a $100 tire at 65k mileage warranty. Over twice the life, little more than 20% in extra charge. 